Welcome to my vlog. It's about 7.28, as you will see in the timestamp below. I try to point to it, but it keeps on appearing in a different spot every time I try to point to it. I think it's over here. Anyway, so Monday morning, it is a grind today. I haven't really started working yet since I'm I'm here at home. I can feel it. Like today is going to be like one of those days where you have to like hit it harder than it hits you. Yeah, that's today. All this weekend, I was trying to figure out what was going on with my laptop, which is the thing that I use right now to do this vlogging. There's nothing wrong with the photo booth, there's nothing wrong with the majority of everything that, that I use on here, but for some reason, I'm not able to use it for more than like 10 to 20 minutes, depending on what I'm doing, without it shutting off just intermittently outside of the office that I work in. I can do anything that I want on this computer when I'm at work, sitting in the office, but anywhere else, Barnes & Noble, local coffee shop, my house, anything, for some reason, it just, it just shuts off, like, randomly. And it does this 10 minutes after I turn it off, uh, turn it on, and so, I'm not really sure what's going on. I've tried several different things, including from safe mode, reinstall the OSX, and find the eligible number. I got a very interesting message about that. Resetting the RAM, DRAM, NVRAM, the SMC reset. Gosh, I've tried several different things, and it just, I don't know what it is. It might be the graphics card. It seems to happen whenever I'm on YouTube or using Firefox. I'm not, well, no, because it, it happened while I was using Safari too. I'm not really sure. I'm going to be taking this thing to work, and once I finish my Tasks. I'm gonna try asking one of my coworkers if he can help me figure out what is going on. Hopefully, we can run some diagnostics on it because I tried to run some. And that was the first thing that I did, and it said it might be something with the adapter. And I'm like, this is a new computer, so I tried it, and it said I couldn't find anything that the MagSafe adapter was just fine. So I don't know. I'm gonna be taking it in, and we're gonna see what's going on with it. Hopefully, we can find this out. If anything, you might have to just give me a new computer. I started putting the videos and vlogs and stuff and movies that. I have on here on OneDrive because our organization has a thing with that where it's like a terabyte of storage and so I just put videos and like you know the bigger files and stuff up there see if maybe they were just taking up too much space and the computer couldn't handle it but again it's a new computer so it's not like there's a ton of space being taken up on here so it's not that I don't know what else so <laughs> we're gonna see what's going on and then uh, I'll update you guys a little bit later I just got home from work it is so cold outside and it's a high of like 43 and that's why I'm wearing this um, but don't cover it. Happy Coffee Monday. We figured out the computer stuff. Well, didn't figure it out. We're gonna have a temporary fix for it. Basically, what's gonna go on is I'm gonna migrate all of the data from this computer to another one that is a former employee of ours. It took like two hours for it to do anything because it was uh, we had to install El Capitan on it because it's a MacBook Pro. This is a Retina. This is a newer version, I think, of what she had. So this one has El Capitan and that one was Yosemite on it. Before I could do anything, we had to go on install that. I put that on there. I wanted to bring it home to actually do the migration because when you do a migration with MacBook Pros or with any Apple device, you have to let it do its thing. You can't do anything on it. So since that was around 12, 1230, I didn't want to do that and then just leave and just call it a day because I had other things that I wanted to do. And I had already had a very, very productive day before that. Within about two hours, I had already redone two websites. And so I felt, I was like, okay, you know, it's a good time to do it. And we were not busy, thank God, as far as working on hardware stuff. So I was able to figure things out. And after I do this migration, hopefully I can do things on this computer tonight because I do need to edit the vlog and do other things that I really wanted to get done today. So I'm going to be going to the gym and during during that time, I'm gonna be migrating. It usually takes about two hours, so hopefully we're gonna be done with this migration thing. It looks like it's a nicer day outside because it's sunny, but it's still very cold. I wore a scarf for the first time today in a long time. I'm not even like that much of a scarf wearer, but after wearing it today, it's a blessing. Got it from 5-4 Club, and it's a nice, um, here, I'll just show it to you. Uh, I don't even know what it's made out of, but it was, it was from 5-4 Club out in LA, and it's a very nice material. It's super, super soft. Megan almost stole it from me because it's just so comfortable, and I need to figure out how she ties hers because she ties hers in a way that's not like the simple, you know, like wrap around and throw it back thing, because that doesn't really stay there. Like if I bend over very much at all, this thing comes down. So I'm going to try to figure out like different ways that I can tie this thing that both does the job of keeping my neck from getting cold and also looks somewhat stylish. 
All right, so here's where we're at. I just got home from the gym almost two hours ago. Been down in my protein shake. It's been taking a while just because just kind of checking and working on that migration thing that I was talking about. It's been taking a while. The thing finished probably like two or three hours ago. It said that the computer that I was going to be putting stuff on did not have as much space as it needed to. In other words, I couldn't put everything on that one that I had on this one. I had to be very, very selective about what I did. Because of that, all of my videos and stuff that I've done through Photo Booth could not be transferred over. So I'm trying to see if I can email them right now from this computer to that one. I think it's going okay right now. It's the home stretch right now of finishing the emails. I chose not to send any of the applications from this one to that one just because I didn't need to migrate all of them on here because most of the applications I had on here are already on there. But Migration Assistant does not allow you to send specific applications unless you've laid it out somehow in a, in a way that you can. iMovie is not a huge application. It is is big it's like four and a half gigs so that's kind of big for a single file hopefully that works out I'm still waiting for it to be done as soon as I do that I will be probably editing the videos I really just want to get done with editing and get to work on some other things it's 706 here I'm already a little bit tired because I have not had dinner yet but I've been down in this shake so I'm probably just gonna call it a night I think that's about it for right now hope you guys all have a great night wake up tomorrow feeling refreshed I hope the same for myself I will catch you guys on Thursday. Peace.